This is the Pythonic Accountant, and today we're going to look at using Code Explorer for importing data directly from a PDF file. Importing data from PDFs is something that my viewers have really enjoyed seeing Python help you help to do over the years that I've been doing these videos, and I'm actually really excited to start exploring how Code Interpreter can really help with this. So we're going to open up GPT-4 and in Code Interpreter, and I'm going to upload a file that is going to be uh, it's a JPEG, but you can upload a PDF just as easily. And I'm going to say, uh, I want help pulling some information from this invoice. That's for the invoice number, the vendor name, uh, dates, line items, and a recalculation of the total. And let's see if it can figure it out. So. I was actually surprised that it could do this because I thought that it was mostly focused on um, just you know pulling in a table from a CSV file or if I give it a table of data. But surprisingly, it looks like it can actually run the code needed to apply OCR to an image, which is pretty awesome. And we'll, let's open it up and see what it's actually doing. So this is awesome. It's using um, PyTesseract, which is an image recognition library um, that it must already have in its interpreter and it's pointing to the image that it uh, downloaded or uploaded and then just extracting the text um, and what it's doing here is grabbing the raw text and what it was able to do from this raw text is just be able to interpret directly without even using Python the invoice number, vendor name, the dates, and the individual line items and now let's see if it can um, turn it into a table and so First, it's recalculating the total and used Python to do that, which is great um, because it doesn't really do math well, uh, but using Python, Python can do math well. So that's great. Uh, so let's let's do one more thing. Uh, let's say, please provide the line items in a table format. And I'll just specify using data frames. And this is really cool. And what's also neat about this is you could take the code that it used up here to pull the file in using Tesseract. And you could pull, I don't know that you need this code here in the middle, but the code that it's writing here, assuming that it works, you could actually use and perform the same functions again on a different invoice, if it's this, as long as it's a similar format. And check this out, this is awesome. Um, you've got line item, you've got the description of the item, you've got the quantity, the unit price, and the amount. And let's just check one of these. You know, you've got your LG 18.5 inch WLCD, and I think that is going to be right here. LG 18.5 inch WLCD. It should be 10 of them at 230 bucks is 2300. And sure enough, 10 of them, 230 bucks, 2300. So this is awesome. Um, I hope you're as excited as I am about this. Definitely more to come. Um, let me know if you have any suggestions on additional PDFs or JPEG images of invoices and um, also hopefully going to do something similar with just reports like accounts payable reports, accounts receivable reports, things that are in not super clean table formats that you couldn't just copy and paste into an Excel file, but that we might be able to use this uh, code interpreter to interpret and have it write its own code to pull it out. Well, if you like this and you want to see more uh, like it, please subscribe and give this uh, a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys at the next one.